The Ukrainian armed forces regained previously lost positions in the direction of Lipsy thanks to a successful counterattack. This is stated in the report of the American Institute for the Study of War. It is noted that geolocated footage published on June 10 shows that Ukrainian forces have regained positions along the Lipsy Kharkiv city road southeast of Hlybok. Several Russian millbloggers claim that Ukrainian forces are counterattacking in the Lipsy direction, particularly near Hlybok, which is consistent with the available geolocated evidence. Russian soldiers run back en masse and even throw away the bodies of their fallen comrades. Russian and Ukrainian sources also reported continued fighting in Vovchansk, northeast of Kharkiv city, particularly in the area of the Vovchansk aggregate plant, and near Tyk and Vovchansky Kuteri. In addition, ISW reported that Russian forces recently advanced southeast of Kupyansk amid continued Russian ground attacks along the Kupyansk Svatov Kremina. Geolocated footage published on June 11 indicates that Russian forces recently advanced east of Stepova Novoselivka. The Russian Ministry of Defense and Russian millbloggers claim that Russian forces seized the disincorporated settlement of Timkivka and Myasozarivka. Russian millbloggers claim that Russian forces also advanced near Ivanivka and Andrivka, west of Svatov. ISW has not observed visual confirmation of any of these claims. Fighting continued northeast of Kupyansk near Sinkivka, southeast of Kupyansk near Pishchain. The same ISW report states that Russian occupation forces have again begun to use the Crimean bridge to transport fuel and logistics into occupied Crimea. Ukraine says that the enemy is concentrating his main efforts on the Pokrovsky and Kurakovsky directions. Fighting continues in the areas of temporary Yar, Kleshievka, Kalinovka. The enemy is trying to capture these settlements to expand the geography of their advance in the direction of Kramatorsk and Slavyansk. It is noted that the enemy unsuccessfully storms Belogorivka, which has become an eloquent example of the stability of the Ukrainian army in the Lugansk region. The enemy is rushing into Seversk from two directions, but each time they roll back, leaving the corpses of their soldiers. Ukraine says that in the Kharkiv direction, the enemy is conducting unsuccessful actions, trying to move forward into the depths of our combat formations and create a so-called security belt. In Volchensk, the enemy is bogged down, despite the attracted forces and means, which are constantly replenished from units in other directions. In the Krinka area, fighting continued for the maintenance of the bridgehead and control of the islands, without significant changes in the condition and position of the parties.